And video media arts recording, like what I am doing now, is a very important part of what we do. To get this done, we use a room known as a mixdown booth to do all this. There's a bunch of things we have to do to ensure that this all sounds the way we want it to. There are ways to do it and certain steps you must take. Your first step when you're recording in the mixdown booth is to always have a script. You will need a script to know what you are going to record. This is important because you are not going to want to go into the mixdown booth without knowing what to say. Your next step you take when you go into the mixdown booth is to make sure that the audio rack switch is turned on and both mixer power lights are on. You do this to ensure that your booth is on for a good recording experience. And right after that, you look at your mixer and bring up your main mix to the zero level mark. Now that that is done, you bring up the bus to the zero level mark. So you eventually bring up your microphone input to channel one to the zero level mark. So after that, you turn on the iMac PC and open up Logic Express, the recording application. Once Logic Express is open, go to the menu bar and click on File New. You will get a box labeled New asking you what kind of project do you want. You will click on the Empty Project button. The Logic Express Arrange window will open up with a box labeled New Tracks. Click on the Create button. Then, you click on the first track called Audio 1 and go to the right where the vertical zoom function is located. Right when you do that, a window will open up. This is called Save. Save as. This window is asking you two questions. Where do you want to save this audio file and what do you want to call it? With this in mind, click on the desktop folder under the PM student folder. You must look for that folder that looks like a house. Click on the voiceovers folders and then click on the PM folder. You then go down to the new folder button and click on it. Label your new folder with your last name in all caps, just like you should have done in your iMac in the classroom, and click the create button. Right after you have made your folder, go up to the save box up top and name your audio file. You then click save. Your R button should be lit red. You should now be able to see the levels on both Mixer and Logic Express react to any noise in the booth. Now finally click on the record button in your transpose panel and then you start recording. And that is how you do recording and voiceovers. Peace out bro.